All right, so this tutorial is going to go over how to design for first layer multicolor prints on the MMU. Um, it really starts with your design to break out the parts you want to have different colors. You need to create separate STLs in your design. You can stack them all, but this gives you the ability uh, later on when the slicer to assign individual colors to individual parts of the print. And then when you get into the slicer, you're going to prioritize these so they, they print correctly and one color does not, one color takes over the other color correctly. And what I mean by that is um, at the top, we have our main body color, which is black. And if I were to take this and drag it down here to the bottom, it's going to take priority over any other colors. And what it does is it pretty much overwrites anything else in there. If they take up the same space, if you model, so all your STLs are in their, their same physical space, you won't have to worry too much about this prioritization, but you can click and drag items in here around and then slice it and then select your colors to make sure that colors are assigned to the STLs correctly for your finished result. Um, the other suggestion I have, I'll talk about the modeling. I'll talk about the importing here in a second, but the other suggestion I have, if you're just trying to get the quick facts is when you're printing this, have a plastic brush on hand, like a stiff brush. And when this one will actually put down the white first, I went in during the filament change, the extruders over here, and I did a quick brush in two directions and pulled out all the strings. There were multiple little white strings. They're difficult to get rid of, but if you get rid of them, that means when the black goes down, you're gonna have clean black. When the black's done and is doing the swap, go over there and brush it again. When the blue goes down, the red goes down, you're not printing over strings and locking those in that first layer where they're really visible. After the first layer's down, I let it go, I don't care, but really just putting in those few minutes to get that first clean layer makes all the difference in the world for your print. So this, like I said, this starts from the perspective of modeling. And so in Fusion, I've made this quick model here. Um, and it's just a, it's a box or a square tile with an X. And if I go back here, you can see that's the design. And what I've done is the first extrusion is I extruded everything one millimeter tall for my body. And then I came here next delete these other ones I don't need those um, and I, I designed this X but it only goes you can see there two layers deep but they occupy the same space right now um, so I've exported that let me go ahead and bring it over here I'm gonna get rid of the Rocinante coaster actually let me just hit that all right so I've got my design here opened in Prusa slicer that should look familiar. We've got our X there and you can see it's doing this funky behavior where it's kind of not sure what to render. That's because we've got two objects taking up the same physical space. If in fusion, you were to cut that space when you extruded to make the, the X, you could cut that and then do a second extrusion to create a new body in that position. So then they're not taking up the same physical space, but this isn't a problem here because we can prioritize how we're ordering this, um, to get our desired results. So we want this face down, right? That's what we're going for here. We want that uh, nice finish that you get from the print bed here. Um, with the Rasanati coasters, I used a textured print sheet and that was nice for hiding uh, print lines. Um, you can also finish it with like clear, clear coat if you do it on a, on a smooth PEI sheet or you can hit it with a heat gun to get rid of some of the print marks um, that might be imparted by the bed itself. But uh, let's go ahead and slice this. And so now we see we have our two separate colors. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about priority here is when you have models taking up the same space on the right here, um, this is really important to have that priority set. We talked about that earlier with the Rocinante coaster. If I take the, the main body piece and put it down here at the bottom, it's going to have priority over anything above it in the same physical space. So we slice it. We just have a plain old orange cube here, but if we reorder it, it's going to pay attention to this to have to cut out of that top one and we get that result that we're looking for all right so one other thing that i like to do is to slow down the first print uh first layer speed and it's right down here there is under speed you've got first layer speed modifier i set that to 15 and what that does is that first layer that goes down it takes a little bit longer to put the layer down but then you have minimal risk of peeling stuff up especially small details because the mk4 is wicked fast um, if you put down a little detail and it jumps to the next one, it may rip up that little detail, like the center of an E or something like that. Just finer details. I find go down more successfully if you just slow down your print on that first layer, um, which in my opinion, all the trouble you're going through, it's worth it to, to take, uh, 
care of that first layer, not only cleaning off the stringers, uh, but also printing a little bit slower. So hope this tutorial was helpful and good luck.